Hello, Mappy here, and the weird and unfortunate thing that happened last time was I forgot to record the audio. <laughs> or rather, I had it monitoring the wrong, like, audio feed, yada yada. So, maybe I edited in some, like, fitting music. Maybe I didn't. Who knows? I might have just decided to not be bothered. I do that sometimes. All right, we've opened up red doors, and more importantly, have our way out. Was I really that close to the end? You know what? We're going to go through, because I, I remember there being another red door. Yes, there's a red door over here. Which, talking about that guy, we got a pocket, a pocket flashlight, you say? What is that? Is that a charm? Is that a gear? Huh. That's actually really cool. We're gonna... Hmm. Do I accept the defense? You know what? Actually, no. We're gonna keep the laser tag vest. But we're gonna replace that with a pocket flashlight. Yep. Make you nice and resistant to things. I'm a little bit annoyed that I managed to, uh... A not record the audio last time, and B, that I managed to stop, like, wait, I loop back, okay, um, was there another, no, there was not, I am very good at the video games, and I'm also very good at this, like, recording thing, but yeah, very good at everything. So good. Definitely not a little annoyed with myself because of my uh, accidental non-recording. We are going to shove an item into Miriam's face. And Miriam's going to be like capped out with her sigh every single time now gonna be fantastic let's hop in here and let's let's go beat up a man I presume that we're fighting Clayton on his throne well 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 the wayward sheep finally come to the shepherd finally ready to commit to learning the truth ready to shed those earthly forms and ascend to the next level of enlightenment okay I'm just gonna up front say that I do not give my consent to the shedding of anything around here next level of what you must have noticed all the beautiful specimens living on my ship. Can you believe every single one was once a lowly human, just like you? But now, you too can. Those were people? You weren't paying attention, Miriam? Oh my god. Oh, they're still people. In fact, they're even more people than they used to be. They're 100% more people than 100 people. They're the next level of ev evolution, after all. Now, I should warn you, if you're too feisty during the re-education process, you won't be able to ascend. Failures get processed as sustenance for the Great One, so it's in your best interest to be a team player here. You shut the fuck up and listen to me. If you've done anything to Dottie, if she's one of those those things, I swear in my life that I will end you right fucking now. Hmm, Dottie, Dottie. Altor, you don't happen to remember a Dottie among the sheep, do you? Gosh, Mr. Knight, I sure don't. I don't think their previous human names were important, seeing as you so love renaming your new reborn subjects. Too true. A new weird voice, and I don't think it came from one of the... Those computer-looking things, which can only mean... An evo guy. E evocation Ooh, Mr. Knight, no wonder they've been too tricky for us to get a hold of. These two have their own assistance. Come on, you two, don't be shy. We're all siblings here, after all. Not kin with scum. Aw, somebody's grumpy. What about the other one? Don't you want to catch up a little? Maybe chat about the old times? The idea of fraternizing with your kind sickens me to the very core, Alto the Noxious. Oh, you remember my name? I'm so touched. To be sure, there is such a lovely sobriquet. Ill fits someone like you. The very depths of depravity you have descended to here are beyond any I, as a civilized being, could ever fathom. To what debauched end have you altered all these humans? And what warped whim guided you to twist your own host into this shameful halfwit? Have you no pride? You outers, always such elitists. What's so wrong with letting a human have some fun with his imagination, huh? You give your host what they want, we give ours what they want. Everyone's happy. And we know how to get energy out of the arrangement. 
disgusting parasites. <laughs> I don't need to impress either of you anyways. As long as Fritoch is happy with our intake. There's that weird name again. Big face Fritoch. First, humiliating my dear Faradon, and now enabling this abuse of humans. What is Fritosh's goal? What purpose could be possibly be served by engaging in this despicable insanity? Whoopsie doodle, shouldn't let that name slip. All right, all right, all right, all right, I'm not sure what's got your assistance in the tizzy, but it's time for the big bosses to talk. You ladies will now submit to my power and join my line flock. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard pass on my part. How could you do want to do this? Y you better change everyone back right now, or or... Try or I'll bash your damn head in. That's a good one. A cell takeover, huh? Well, you can try, but once they're free of their earthly forms, there's no going back. You can't de-evolve. Security, subdue these violent ladies and drag them to the re-education lab. They're like, uh... Huh? They're like, nope, leaving. Ugh. Elder, they're doing it again. Just a little hiccup in the alignment in process, Mr. Knight. The soul still has to shut those old memories of humanity while it gets used to its uh, advanced vessel. Nothing to worry about. Heh, <laughs> I guess the Chosen One ought to step up against the bad guys anyway. Time to show you two who the real hero of the story is. Time to put this guy down like the rabid dog he is. You didn't even turn yourself into that next evolution thing. You're not, you're no Chosen One, you're just a bully. Altor's host, Clayton Knight. That's a new transition. I am the Chosen One, Prophet of the Stars, and I will bring all of humanity to a higher playable existence. Bow to my superior psychic powers! So, dude guy, you do realize that everyone here is psychic. Um, we're gonna start with... Overwhelm. <laughs> he just punches. Oh, he he's... He's a hardy boy. We're gonna batting stance and we are going to Scourge Rot. Because Scourge Rot doesn't care about your defenses, Mr. Clayton. Rings of Misfortune. Ooh boy, that's a. That's a hardy whatever. Care of what Curse does. Um, let's. And I can't check that in battle. Okay. We're gonna power hit you. And. You know, hitting you with psychic stuff didn't really work. I'm gonna use a blessed shot on you. Use a holy bullet. Okay, that was that was the play. Um, phase transition. <laughs> I figured. Gosh, Mr. Knight, you're not looking so good. Let me get some pep back in your step. Altor does a healing. Altor's host, Clayton Knight, ultimate form. Oh. Hey. Ah. Wah. Wah. What did, did... You evolved. Your body's an even higher level than before. Isn't that great? N no. The... This... Aw, oh, you don't like your new form? It's fine. It'll just take some breaking in. Go ahead and finish those humans off, and then we, so we can process them. Okay, so now we have the real thing. I'm going to heal refresh myself, and I'm going to reapply Surge Rot. <laughs> this not not what I wanted. So he now dread. Cool. Um, power hit. Overwhelm. Oh, hey, he's panicking. That's actually really nice. I like that. Uh, Mr. Knight, you were gonna take care of these humans, right? <laughs> oh, I know! You'll be wanting some assistance, huh? Don't want you to get lonely. Oh. Oh, those look lovely. So, let's see. These are Okay. So, we're gonna Lumen Flash. And we're going to just overwhelm Mender. Letting people have healing is a no-go. Ooh, massive attack. Heal Matrix. I hate it already. Ugh, and I don't really have anything good for... 
Um, horror absorb. Let's try that on you. I scourge rotted you, didn't I? Yes. Yep. <laughs> he's just panicking because he doesn't he doesn't want to do a thing. Because he's like, oh wow, you you gave me like the weird body. Oh good. Um, we're gonna power hit that thing. And we are going to spend another armor piercing shot on the mender. <laughs> it's very important that we kill that thing fast. Energy missiles? Two of them? Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to heal refresh you, and you are going to blind anger everyone. It'll be good when we blind things. Especially since I think I'm actually going to use Batting Stance. And I'm going to overwhelm Clayton. I'm, I'm concerned that if we kill off all the ads, that uh, we'll just sub that more will just get summoned. So uh, I need I need to heal things. I need to heal people. Um, Esoteric tonic in you, in you are going to hollow point Clayton, who seems to be panicking an awful lot, honestly. Okay, so we are going to maybe hold back on that. We're going to horror absorb Clayton, and now we're going to armor piercing shot the glider. So that should be fine. Oh, oh, oh boy. Still hesitating, Mr. Knight. I don't mean to be confrontational, but I really feel like you're not appreciating the help I gave you. Huh, help. Maybe it's about time you're tired. I'll just take over everything for you. Hold still now. This won't hurt at all. Ah, it's really nice not to have to keep the big guy happy. Time to cut loose and let take care of business. <laughs> Wait, you just... As to be expected from your kind. Once you encounter the least difficulty, you think nothing of plundering your host, taking what you want by force rather than civilized methods. How truly pitiful. Are you serious? Hmm, I'd honestly prefer to give you giving you a slow death. But Mr. Knight really didn't take good care of my gift. No choice but the swift kill, I guess. Oof. Now we get hit by Eldritch! Cause uh this is the first inner emanation we actually properly fight. And this guy is going to be an absolute jerk, honestly. Okay, now we can power hit. And we're going to take out the glider. So we can just focus on the one guy. Oh, that's, uh, uh, that, that, that's great. I love it. Um... I'm going to Lumen Flash with you, and you are going to shove an Esoteric Tonic into Alicia. It's important. Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay. You- we might as well use it one of our ten seals of life. Oh, hey, that's actually a pretty nice whatever. Okay, and we're going to armor piercing, Clayton? I don't know what's good against him, honestly. Quite a bit, it seems, but, uh... Yikes. I don't know if I'm approaching this properly. <laughs> I mean, we're winning, but, uh... Wow. Altor is hitting hard. There we go. Oh no! Well, there's no reason to stick around here anymore. I'll play with you humans again later. <laughs> oh, he's just running. No, you better give me my XP and ovals. You little shit. I deserve those. Robot Bolt, Hollow Point Ammo, Seal of Life, Esoteric Tonic, and AP Ammo. Yes, level ups! <sighs> well, we won somehow. I guess that's that taken care of.
What? What about Clayton? You can't be serious. I just... Miss Copeland, you surprise me. Surely you can't have been entertaining some childish notion of rescuing and rehabilitating the man. Uh... Clayton gone. You must come to terms with this fact. Their hosts are, for all intents and purposes, dead the moment they allow an inner vocation to worm its wretched way into their foolish minds. They're ultimately doomed to lose all control of themselves to those greedy barbarians. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Remember what he did to all those people. <sighs> oh, there we go. Now it's back to the proper proper shape. Whoa, what? Hmm. Without the energy invested to alter the area, this flying saucer is returning to its former shape as normal Vedum space. Seems Alter has reclaimed their prior investment. That's good, right? Not particularly, no. Collapse of the space is a near certainty. What about all those people? The aliens? Gone. What? Why, you're right, old chum. Alter must have taken the opportunity to harvest them all while fleeing the area. Th then they're all... We haven't time to contemplate their fates, Miss Copeland. Collapse of this space is imminent. Quickly, stir up your power and break out of it. Yay. Just... Just... Screw all of that. We're done. <sighs> I did it? We're, we're back? Yes, we're back to regular daybreak eyesore and not a B-movie set or a red nightmare. But all those people... Hey, Miriam, Alicia! Oh, sorry. Oh. Hey, it's these two! You guys still cooking around? That's great. Oh my god! Viola, Eric, I thought you guys... Nope, we're still in business. You took like you've been to hell and back, though. Yeah, pretty much. I figure that's just a new normal around here. Well, let's get you two patched up, then. Yay, Fee and Eric aren't dead. I appreciate you taking good care of us twice in one day, V. I will remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings of sound of mind and body as well as the infirm. You know, the Hippocratic Oath and all. Your medicine is still as wonderful as ever. I feel like a million bucks. I thought you two were going to stick around the clinic, though. Well, not long after you left, old Sadie felt this feeling like she needed to move on. And this old gunslinger couldn't leave a lady in peril. Have you ever used a gun in your life? Sure have. My vintage Super Soaker XP 110. 110. I'm good at numbers, you guys. Anyway, we decided strength in numbers was the best plan, and nobody seemed to be coming for a flu shot, so I closed up sh shop and decided to see about some ho house calls. Not really sure what happened to Sadie, though. At some point, she just stopped being there. You're also very easily distracted, dear. Well, I don't know why she just vanished without saying bye to you guys, but she's just fine. We saw her in Fulham Grove with some other survivors. Well, she could have told us. What if they needed medicine? Say, Alicia, did you ever find that kid you were looking for? Eh, she... she wasn't in her house. Nobody was. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. But, you know, she wouldn't have been in there anyway. Huh? It was well before lunch when things got all higgledy-piggledy. She would have still been in school. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Glad we went through that whole ordeal because you forgot kids go to school. It's been a while since I graduated, okay? Besides, I didn't hear you make any suggestions about it. <laughs> She's got you there, Miriam. Ah, both of you can go to hell. Okay, new goal. Find Dottie's school. I think it was something like Atkinson Middle School? That's not far from here, I think. If we're near Fulham, then it should be just a bit north from here. Well, I got some... I guess I got more some... Wa I got more walking to do. Oh, my tongue is gloriously tangled right now. Y you don't have to. No, I definitely do. You're a goddamn mess on your own, Stringbane. Oh, I'm... Aw, oh, Miriam, you old softy. Shut up. Miriam, soft? Pshaw. She's soft as a teddy bear. Alright, let's head north to Atkinson Middle. Alright. Whoops, wrong button. I got plenty of Viola Vaughn's patent, patent, pending, patent pending panacea, so drop in anytime you need me to pick me up. Okay. We'll camp here for a bit before we decide our next move, so come back if you need anything. More importantly... Picked up some picked up some new additions to my collection while we were out and about. Though, uh, don't know how useful that'll be to you. Interested in a very used ColecoVision? I'll pass on that. Anything else? Have a look. Okay, first things first, we're selling solid gels. We're selling giant fingernails. We're selling robo bolts. And slit crystal balls. So we've got a little bit of money. 
All right. Oh, we don't actually... Oh, that's interesting. There, None of them are actually, like... Upgrades. Interesting. I'll be on the lookout for more useful stuff. That, uh... That's kind of concerning, honestly. Okay, let's see. What's down here? Hmm. Have we been over here? I don't think we have. Okay, so this is this obviously isn't progress, but uh I'm wondering if I can get back into Fulham from here. An agility bar, health drink. Yeah, this is a place I've been before. Oh yes. To school for a jam clinic. Okay. We might as well do a little bit of exploring. Oh we're back here. Remember we were like popped up here and we got a like, oh you can't go this way. This isn't where we need to go message. Yeah, we're we're about to get back into Fulham Grove. Back through this dungeon. Which should be like super easy this time around. Ooh, but we get we get a place to spell our, spend our opals. Yes. We have like no opals. But you know, I might as well spend some getting my max HP up. For Miriam. Because saving resources is for squares. I don't think these I don't think these places repopulate either, so it should be just a straight run. Oh wait, no. No, there there's an enemy. We'll just ignore you. You're you're not gonna be really worth the fight. I thought I got everything. I thought I killed everyone when I was going through here. I guess I didn't. Because nothing else has respawned. Oh, wait, wait. Did I? I thought I killed literally everything. If you're wondering why we're heading back to Fulham Grove, by the way, it's mostly because I'm, I'm actually really curious to see... Also, I find it kind of silly that... This area is still red, given how much fighting I did in here. But yeah, no, I'm trying to see if, uh... Oh, hey, a bunch of these guys. That's fun. I'm, I'm just checking on the survivors, mostly. Um... You know what? Who has the higher agility? Alicia has a 35. Miriam has a 39. It's going to Alicia. Yeah. As you probably noticed, I'm not really specializing anyone towards any one given stat. Other than trying to make Alicia the best psychic lady I can manage. But, um... Yeah. This area is a bit quiet. Not sure I like that. Pop in here. No one's there. Okay, so everyone looks fine. Where's Sadie? Wow, you're still alive and kicking, huh? You need a good rest and some supplies? Yeah, I'll rest. Cause I'm I'm curious where Sadie went. Sadie went. Sadie? 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 Alright, let's see if... Yeah. Sadie wandered off somewhere, I swear. She's gonna get herself killed out there. Okay, I'm gonna save. Now that I know everyone's safe. You know, I'm gonna meet you back where we left V and Eric. Won't be two shakes of a lamb's tail. So, I did enough violence that, uh... Once we get back to a space where we have enemies... 
like, okay, no, back there, the meter's all yellow, which is very satisfying. But hey, new area. Huh. I wonder what's over here. Well, we should probably clear this screen first. I say, as I run into a wall. Oh, okay, I'm gonna show this one just because, like, look at this guy. This guy is very fine. Mr. Pieces! We're gonna Lumen Flash everything, and then we're gonna shoot Mr. Pieces with a gun. Because Mr. S Mr. That was interesting. I don't know why it gave me that, but, uh... Uh, we are going to batting stance, and we're going to blind anger everything. Because uh, Mr. Pieces seems tough. Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah, Mr. Pieces is the only actually new enemy here. So, uh... Yeah. Anyway, let's get rid of that and just keep shooting Mr. Pieces until he dies. Which might take a little while. Nope, nope, there he goes. And we're gonna heal refresh, Alicia. Because why not? Well, just time to shoot things until they die. Anyway, yeah, I was like, oh, let's explore this entire screen, and then, no, <laughs> there's a wall. Ooh, ooh, I miss, I almost missed this. We are going to give the idea bar to Miriam, actually, because I do like using her attack skills now that I actually have attack skills on her. Do... Do... Vote K. Calgren. Okay, actually, I'm gonna show you these guys too, cause, uh... Look at this! Eggy Ergo and Cephalopub. They are the best! I love them both. As if they were my very children. I mean, up until the point where they actually... Ooh, okay. Good! Good that that failed, because that's never a good thing. Um, we're gonna horror absorb Cephalopup. I'm just continuing to shoot the egg. There we go. Yeah, no, you are still my very children. You are... You died very quickly. That's all I really want out of you guys. Um, and I think that's... That's progress. So we want to hop over here. It's good that we did, because fortune tickets, we want all of. Wow, it looks like that was literally just here so we can... Yeah, it seems like this was just so I could grab a fortune ticket. Which I'm not complaining about, honestly. Saw whose head off. Hopefully not mine. Ooh. Ooh, is this... Oh, that's not pleasant. That's not pleasant at all. Okay, other than the bloody smear... I don't like that either. That That's, that's not comforting. It's not comforting in the least. We're gonna do a quick little save. Just, just because I'm a coward. Um, oh, and that, that that door is glowing. Love it. Door is locked. Okay, so it looks like we're we're gonna get th something to get through that door. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna leave this this house deeply discomfited.
Is this a... As I was saying before I got rudely interrupted... Oh, I think we need to just move on. Um, why are you saying that, Alicia? Oh, okay, it's a, it's a door. That makes more sense. You thought you could hide from me, box. Agility bar, which is going into Alicia's gullet. Mmm, tasty agility. And yeah, not not sure what I'm what I'm doing. Ooh. Yep, you can't open it. What a surprise. Hmm. Red status note. Disease, moderate damage per round, paralysis, basic attacks. Skill sealed, cannot evade physical attacks. Psychic skill sealed. Shatter is defense and resist down 50. I've seen that a few times. Migraine lose psi points every turn. That sounds awful. Stasis can't act for three turns. That sounds even more awful. Death store. HP reduced to critical at the end of each every turn. I've gotten that a few times with my uh, Lumen Flash, and it's great. Eldritch Mark is take 150% damage from Eldritch. Ooh, that sounds nasty. <laughs> Possessed, there are ghosts inside you, and that is a bad thing. <laughs> Thank you for informing me of this. I mean, granted, aren't we already possessed? Okay. Yeah, if you think about it, aren't we already possessed? Hmm. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to. Swing back and come at things from the other side. But yeah, I'm gonna swing back and see if I can get those goodies. Especially since it looks like we're just about to get to the school. And I don't want to miss goodies. Goodies are important, also. I keep I keep getting my thought disrupted, oh well. Let's go ahead and grab those goodies. So I'm betting they're good. <laughs> Hence the name. Ooh, yellow bishop. Someone's gonna want chess pieces. We got the green knight. We got the yellow bishop. Hopefully these are things that will let us, like, learn new skills or whatever. The fortune ticket. Ooh, hey, level up. Excellent. I love it for both of them. Very fine. Yeah, no, I suspected that we'd have a, uh... Rollerblades? What do those do? Oh my god! That is some good agility. Okay, so I'm going to... You know, those are going on Alicia. Mostly because, since she's tanking, um, having that extra evasion is probably a good idea. But also because then she has a rollerblade and a baseball bat, and that is just... But yeah, so, uh, baseball bat, rollerblades, 312 ovals. Which, actually, given that we're right by a place where we can get some upgrades... You know, I'm gonna grab this one, just so we don't have to deal with so many um, status ailments, because it has come up. And ugh, I don't really have anything for you, do I? Um, actually, is there was there something else I could buy for? No, oh, I could buy her more Psy. I don't think there's really a reason to buy her more Psy. No, I'm going to start buying into this tree, because as you notice, there's like a fork at the end, which implies good things. Let's do a quick save. And let's keep going. 
We've done our little bit of exploration. We've gotten our fortune ticket. Let's try to make our way to this. You know, I'll probably see if I can make our way to the school. And then, uh... We're going to get to the... The school if we can. And then probably stop for the day. Normally I would be a little bit more like, oh, I'm watching the time, but I can't really do that. Given that, you know... Ooh, blessed ammo, that's important. <laughs> that's like super good. And a fortune ticket. This is why we explore, guys. Yeah, we explore because... You find goodies when you explore. And that's important. Boy. But yeah, no, that blessed ammo is huge. Given how powerful that was against the boss. <laughs> no, calling Clayton the, the boss makes him sound way more impressive than he actually is. I mean, granted, that was a non-trivial fight, but, uh, Clayton himself? Yeah, no, Clay Clayton deserves no respect. Wow, there, there are just a ton of fortune tickets around here. We've already got five. I mean, I guess the next one's gonna be like, we need... 27 fortune tickets. Or like, we need one million fortune tickets. Hello. Do I want to go down there? I mean, I think the correct answer to that question is yes. Um, I think I'm going to save before we pop down into the scary hole. Okay, Alicia, what the fuck? What? I'm already sweaty and smelly again, and I'm covered with lord knows what. I'm not interested in adding sewer sludge to the mix. But what if... No. Okay, fine, Miriam. Be that way. We're probably, <laughs> we're probably gonna have to go down there. Um... If I know video games. Oh hey, it's got the the damage types. Yeah, this this feels like somewhere somewhere we've already been, right? If it was, we didn't look for. Okay, yeah, no, this is a place where we've done plenty of violence. Um, and that looks like a way forward. Ooh, plus twenty five obols. I kind of wish I had a map, honestly. Ooh. I saw this box with more fortune tickets. And we can't go further that way. Got it. I'm going to guess that we're going to get blocked off from everywhere but like the one way to get to the school um let's try that place by the sewer vent first because that doesn't feel very central and also the music just stopped when i went through that one That implies that this is not the way we want to go. Ooh, death bar. I'm not even going to check who has a higher defense right now, because I'm giving it to Alicia, because she is our tank. She is the one that we want to get smacked all over the... Stellar vial, you say? That sounds fancy. Where is it? There it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Party heal? Let's keep that in our pocket. Make sure we remember we have that when we need it. 
But yeah, no, it seems like we know which way we need to go now. Up past the Sorrow Rage Terror building. I do enjoy all of the, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing a total lack of enemies as well. Um, I'm enjoying all the graffiti, really. Ooh, we've got an early release on January 7th. 17th. Well, here we are. So, you expect we'll find your niece here? She's... she's gotta be here. She's gotta. Right, right. Let's, let's get going, then. Oh. That's a, that's a glorious message from the school. Atkinson Middle School, January 17th, early release. February 13th, science fair, accept your fate. What if I don't want to? Let's do a look around. I'm not seeing any items to pick up, so I'm gonna actually... You know what? I figured since we did a bunch of wandering around... Uh, I'm actually gonna poke my head in here to see what's going on in middle school. Who dares trespass in the kingdom of Ulrich? Wonderful. Now who the hell is talking? I ask the questions here. Why have you entered my realm? My name is Alicia Copeland. I'm looking for my niece, Dottie. Just turned 12. Black hair with pig in pigtails. Please, have you seen her? Dottie, you must be referring to Dorothy Borders. Yes, yes, that's her. Where is she? Is she safe? Can you take me to her? She is under the protection of Queen Inez of Ulrich. I have decreed that she has no contact with anyone, save those I have approved, until such time as the minions of the Grand Master have arrived to procure her. What? G Grand Master? You listen to me, lady, if you've done anything. Come on, Stringbean, we got rid of the last asshole, we can take this one down too. Hmph, we are already well prepared for invaders. Weird Eldritch voices words. Oh, hey. Okay, what now? How did... Trap! Hmph. Seems as Queen Inez was prescient enough to conceal a device within that room. This hidden device, which once activated, would try to put invaders into this cage formed within Venom space. I must admit, I am impressed with such foresight from what is certainly a host of some inner evocation. How do we get out? Can we just bust out like we did after the flying saucer? No, smash us too! Bring down! Doom! Hmm, yes, dear Ferriton, I sense it as well. Our foe is distressingly intelligent. She has carefully crafted the walls of this space in perhaps the most annoying manner possible. Seems that any use of psionic force to breach the walls will result in a violent reaction from the better material around it. Meaning? Do boom! Dead! Human friends reduced to paste! Quite so. So what? We're just gonna sit here and rot? Rot forever or explode! Everyone, please, calm yourselves. It will do us no good to, at all to lose ourselves to hysteria. We must bring our minds to bear and find some way out of this predicament. Hmm. 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 Y you okay there, big guy? Most excellent. Fortune favors us immensely. I sense the presence of another outer evocation, who has not only agreed to come to our aid, but has made a pact with one of your kind already. We have but to wait patiently as the two make their way to our location and extract us from this abominable contraption. How patient are we talking here? Five minutes? Thirty minutes? It is, of course, impossible to give an entirely accurate estimate, even leaving aside the frankly bizarre ways you humans interpret the passage of time, but for my context information, they're currently navigating through Venom space to this location. Might hazard a guess of an hour, depending on circumstances. An hour? Dottie could be- I don't even know what! I can't just sit here for an hour! So it's your alternative plan, String Bing? Blow us all up? I... <sighs> Listen, Alicia, we got this far, we know the kid's alive, we have a way out of this. I know it's got you going crazy, but right now, the best we can do for anyone is sit back, rest up, and wait. And then give him all hell when we're out. Ah, <sighs> uh, you're right. Of course I am. Now sit your ass down and do some deep breathing. Dottie needs you not to be a bas basket case. Dottie, hold on. Are we going to meet our last character? Several hours ago. <laughs> yes. Come on, little kitties, you're all invited to a lovey ball with her highness. I don't know who or what you are, but I think you need to leave now. You kids don't have to listen to your teachers anymore. It's time to cut loose and have some fun. I would sincerely hope that my class is smart enough not to trust someone like you. Kids, stay behind me. I'll keep you all safe, no matter what. Ah, you always did have a stick up your ass. Watch this, kitties. I'll show this guy a really good time. Then we can party. <laughs> Lamar? Lamar, who's just gonna smack people with a book? Yes. Lamar is... Lamar is a hero. I don't think you're gonna win this one. Come 
on, Arlington? There's nothing to hold you back anymore. Why do you care about a bunch of dumb kids? They're all gonna really die anywhere. Live a little. It's called professional ethics. You don't even have a job anymore. It's the end of the world. All right, then it's called basic morality. <laughs> Continue to beat this man. Beat this guy with a book, which is doing one damage. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this dumbass trying to hit a ghost. As long as I keep this guy focused on me. Come on, give me your best shot. You're not gonna hurt me. Ah! Looking back, hits for one. Didn't feel a thing. You're so weak, it's almost sad. <laughs> Getting tired yet, Arlington? I'm not giving up. Yes! <laughs> Lamar learned a new passive ability. Ghost Puncher acquired. His basic attack will now do extra damage to second-type enemies! <laughs> Lamar is truly the best character. Ow! What? What the hell was that? I'd better not admit I have no earthly idea. Hurts ghost too? Question mark? Yeah, don't, I don't care. I'm just gonna beat you to death with the book. Don't know how you figured out it hurt me, but it's time to take our little game to the next level. <laughs> Eldritch damage, oh no. Ugh. I'm not letting... See you in hell, Teach. <laughs> ah, Lamar shows up here. In this best place. Kids! Uh, what in the... Hmm, where am I? Some kind of nightmare? Oh, you woke up. I was getting so worried. You act like a light for so long. I don't know what kind of voice to use yet, so... We'll see, actually. I'm just gonna do a flat voice for right now. Who? Good morning, sweetie. My name is Ginyago the Inquisitive. Ah, I need a curious voice. Good morning, sweetie. My name is Ginyago the Inquisitive. Don't worry, it's all gonna be okay. I'll take good care of you, buddy. What? Oh, uh, where are you? Oh, I didn't want to spook you. My we evocations can be a little bit scary for humans. Evocations? What are you evoking? Oh, that's so clever. That's not what we really call ourselves, but you wouldn't be able to pronounce that. Humans used to conjure us from time to time for things, so that's the name we use around you little guys. So you're a demon. What? No! No, demons are mean. Bad guys, right? I'm different. I'm here to help you. You'll forgive me if I have trouble trusting someone I can't see. Only when you're ready, why don't you take a moment to steady yourselves? When you're ready to see me, come forward. I'm actually gonna save, and we're gonna leave our, uh, our inquisitive friend as a surprise for next time. So, we now control Lamar, who is gonna be our third character, who I'm presuming is gonna be sorrow aspected. That does seem to be where we're going here. But uh, look, I'm just gonna look, look at his skills. His skills are smack someone with a book and being able to punch ghosts, <laughs> which is so beautiful. I love you, Lamar. You are, you are, I think you are my favorite character now. Anyway, I'm Mappy, and this has been more weird and unfortunate things happening. Well, weird and unfortunate things are happening. That's the name of the game, but... I keep trying to make it into a sense. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Take care, and I will see you next time. Later.